Salutations, everyone. Greetings, it's El Hebrew, and greetings to the foreigner, a stranger, whatever you want to say, beloved, in our Lord and Savior's name, Yeshua or Jesus. This is just answering. Um, there was a long reply left on what video was it? Okay, so the one where I was saying about the 2000, 2017 with the European uh, lady, Carol Paul, who had the vision of a slave ship. So Christina asked, was asking um, and stating some information. So I'm just going to, first of all, answer um, a few things, see how I'm led. So to summarize a little bit, you said you had a desire to understand Hebrews and a love for them. And I, I, um, that's what your prayer request was. And I'm going to say to you, this is what my prayer, um, prayer request is also. My prayer request is the same thing. Because I also, over the years, have had uh, Yahuwah place the love in my heart for it to be plucked out and uprooted many times. I actually know there's an agenda against having a genuine godly love for Hebrews. That can only explain my experiences of praying prayers. I've interceded for um, Hebrews in the past, over the last three, four years, I would say, and I felt a shift in frequency in the atmosphere in my own heart. I felt when I go out, how I would interact subconsciously around my community was different. It was a lot more lighter, more gracious, more forgiving, and more compassionate than to have that plucked out of my heart to go back to feeling hostile and hard-hearted. So it very much is spiritual, as I think we're all in agreement with. So it was a definite struggle. So you was asking, you said about the physical appearance and knowing Jesus was, was black. Um, and I just wanted to ask you then, what scriptures you were referencing to do with him being black I'm asking this because I'm very much I just want to check that you this is your own revelation that you've personally received and had and it's not just the case that you watched the video videos can be great but with something like this where it is a constant subtle covert and even direct attacks on this word basically that we need to be wise, I think, we need to walk in wisdom, and we need to have continued, basically, I go back to planting, for the example, it's like a seed, this is a very precious, delicate seed, it needs to be tended to, and it needs to be continually watered to stay in the truth, and to stay in the revelation, because there's not many people in this revelation, and that just goes back to my testimony, over the past 16 years or whatever getting the bits and pieces having a wonderful teacher who's hebrew give me the information going away researching it confirming it in my own spirit knowing it in my own spirit but still knowing that there's not many people around me that i'm going to be able to um bring up this topic with because they're going to severely resist it severely and potentially attack that seed so that's why I think this is something that is not acceptable just to be on YouTube watching a video. You really have to get the cultivation and get the pure word and get the pure revelation from the Ruach yourself, from the Father yourself. So I'm very, very passionate about people getting the revelation themselves. And then this video or any other video can come in reference as confirmation and more stuff as confirmation so i just want to stress that so but i do completely agree with the desire to understand hebrews and a heart a heart for them and i stand in agreement with you completely according to the scriptures that say where two or three are gathered in his name is done so yeah, so those are just some points. I'm probably just going to make little videos like this and reference you in them. And then obviously it's potentially speaking to people at a wider, um, a wider scope 
and there's also no condemnation. There's really no condemnation for people who this sounds strange to them. They don't understand it, but they're just at the stage of where they desire to know more. I'm happy to those questions when they're done in, re in a respectful way. It's just I'm not open to people when it's just blatant attacks and everything, you know, and they're just resisting it sorely and everything I'm saying is a lie and all that other stuff. I'm completely shut off and closed off to anybody like that. So I just want to make that crystal clear. Okay, well, have a blessed day and I shall speak to you soon.